of the gospel. Amen. You have so many people nowadays that uh, are watering down the gospel of Jesus Christ because uh, they're looking around and seeing the congregation dwindling down. And so they say, well, I might as well change uh, what I'm preaching in order to gain some people in the church. And then we might as well be honest. And the, the way the church moves on, if you look at it naturally, the raising of offerings is for the furthering of God's work. And so people, they think that and I'll just change what I've been preaching. And I'll preach something that tickles the flesh. And I'll preach, I'll change my doctrine into preaching a big wad of money in somebody's pocket. And they're, they're losing the essence of the word of God. Amen. The essence of the word of God is to uh, convict the sinner, Amen. convict them to change. And here, the Jews, Amen. they were around, they didn't want to take responsibility for the killing of Jesus Christ, Amen. but yet still they credited themselves for having so much. Amen. But Peter, after Amen, he got loose of his shyness, Amen. he began to preach uh, the word of God to them. Amen. That's what he said. Now, when they heard this, and what did they hear? They heard the word of God. Amen. I don't care what the world does. Amen. I don't care which way the world turns. Amen. Give me the word of God. Amen. The word of God leaves a lasting effect. And here it said they were pricked in their heart. Amen. The word of God made an imprint on their heart. Amen. It was not a, a, an outward thing, but it's an inward affecting. Amen. Some people say, well, because I can have the best shout, or I can run around, and, and then I can jump the highest or scream the loudest, and then I'm holy. Amen. Man look on the outward appearance, but God look on the heart. Amen? Uh, so many people nowadays, they want to settle for Amen. A uh, uh, watered down gospel. Amen. Give me the truth. Amen. I, I want the truth. Amen. See, they have a saying that says the truth hurts. Amen. And thank God the truth is supposed to hurt. Amen. Because there's something on the inside of all of us. Amen. Something amen, that we walk around in every day. Amen. There's something that we have to carry day in and day out. And there's something we have to, I don't care how much you wash it. Amen. How much you clean it, you still have to walk around in it. Amen. And that's the flesh. Amen. Some people amen, don't want to face the fact that amen, on the inside of you there's a war going on. Amen. Amen. And the reason why it hurts, the reason why the word of God, when it hits and it hurts, is because there's something there that God is trying to break. Amen. We're living in a time where uh, the world is going back into the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. Amen. Today, amen, this nasty state of New York amen, is going to perform the first gay marriage. Amen. A, a, an abomination amen, to God. Amen. It's an abomination. It's a nasty spirit. Amen. Amen. You see where the world is just giving into this. Amen. Left and right. Amen. Here, the, the subject on today is save yourself. Amen. Many people are giving in to their own ways. And giving in to their flesh and then allowing it to rule their life and allowing it to take amen, precedence in their life. And to hear, amen, he said, after the word of God was preached, amen, it was, they, they got pricked in their heart. Amen, and then they asked the question, men and brethren, what shall we do? And that's a question that I love to hear. And what shall I do? After I heard the word of God preached, what, what shall I do right now? And then I, there's something that I, I come to a realization that I need. There's something right now that I see within myself that, I, that is not exactly right with God. And then I, I see and then prove the word of God that I need a change in my life. And then it's not about me, but it's about God. And then it's about what I want to spend eternity. And that many people have in the world, and then there's so many doctrines, and, and there's so many directions you can go, and then so many routes that you can take, and there's so many avenues that you can go down, 
and then it leads you to different places. Amen. But oh, I'm so glad that there's still only one way to go. Amen. You must come through the waterway. Amen. You must be baptized in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody said, well, and then you preach it to us. And then like we don't have the Holy Ghost. Amen. But you still need to save yourself. And then somebody is so wrapped up in me. And then somebody is so wrapped up in me. In me. And it's all about me. And when I when I wake up, it's all about me. I'm gonna do it my way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it my way. I'm gonna act my way. And then, and then when you take your way, and then your way ends up in the graveyard. And then it don't mean nothing. And then those that desire to live holy, and then they'll run for their life. When they ask the question, uh, men and brethren, what shall we do? And then they ask the question to the apostles, what shall we do? And then, then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And then that ye shall, and then that's the promise right there, that you shall receive the gift of of the Holy Ghost. And then he let them know, and with many other words, did he testify and exhort, saying, save yourself. <clears throat> save yourself from this untoward generation. And then it is in this generation that we're living in. And then so many people are giving in to themselves. And then so many people are giving in and then to the false doctrines of this world. And then many people that stood on the truth and then now walk away from the truth. This generation is closing out day by day. And if you're looking, you see the condition of the world. Some people just don't pay attention. And you got to look and see the way the world is shaping right now. And the Lord is soon to come. Amen. If I were you, I would get off my seat of do nothing. And then I would run for my life. Amen. You remember when Lord, when the Lord was delivering Lot and then his family out of Sodom and Gomorrah. And then he told him to go. And then but what happened? Lot had to turn around because she was so consumed and so overtaken with the city. And then so many people overtaken right now with the city. And then they are not giving in to the Spirit of God. They allow themselves to uh, be so consumed with the world that we're living in. Amen. And their soul is at stake. Amen. On today, amen, you need to thank God that you're yet in the land of the living. Amen. Because so many people, amen, are dying out in this world. And so many people, amen, are losing their soul. And then so many people are walking around abiding in death. Amen. And on the day, I got to save myself. Amen. It's time out for, amen, the pity parties. And it's time out for the buddy buddy. Amen. It's time out for the living a slack life. Give me Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, it's time out for, amen, trying to gain popularity and fame. Amen. But I'll take Jesus for mine. My God. Amen. Let the world pass away. Amen. But he already promised that his word shall stand forever. Amen. And God cannot lie. Amen. So many people said, well, amen, I need this and I need that. Amen. I need to have money. And, and I need this. Yeah. Amen. We desire some more money. Amen. And yeah, we desire the best help. But all oh, if everything else passed away, amen, let me have Jesus. Oh, one thing about it, I just got to be saved. Anybody, anybody want to be saved on the day? Hallelujah. And if we could only realize how close that Jesus Christ is, we wouldn't play with our life the way we do. And then so many people are just walking around playing with their lives. And then just living in your kind of way. I, I'll do this my way. And then I'll, I'll wait till tomorrow. They sing the song that says, Tomorrow. And then I'll give my life tomorrow. And then I thought about today. And then, but tomorrow. And then tomorrow's not promised to you. And then so many people are walking around and saying, well, and then I'll wait till next week. And then he's not coming. He's been saying it for a long time. And then they've been saying Christ was coming for a long time. 
and I got some more time, and, and you don't know that tomorrow's not promised to you. You don't know that you're going to wake up in the morning. If I were you, i will serve him with everything I got. Hallelujah. I give God my all. Why? Because I know who holds my future. Oh, I know who holds my tomorrow. And then he told me, he said, save yourself. And then save yourself. What does it mean to save yourself? And then I'll give my all to Jesus Christ. I'll give my all.